The Intervale is a windmill style ceiling fan with reversible blades and a color changing light. The fan is damperated for indoor or covered outdoor use and is remote control operated. The fan is best suited for great spaces with available 56 inch or 72 inch blade spans. The fan can be installed on standard ceilings and ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees. Use the menu to skip ahead or continue watching for the complete installation guide. To install the fan, you will need a UL listed outlet box that is for fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a step ladder, screwdriver, wire stripper, and electrical tape. Begin by turning power off at the breaker. Prepare the canopy assembly by twisting and removing the canopy bottom cover. Loosen both hanger bracket screws. Twist and lift the canopy to remove the hanger bracket. On the ball downrod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the downrod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. On the fan motor assembly, remove the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. Slide the wires through the down rod and insert it into the collar. Align the holes, then insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Note that the down rod does not need to be completely tightened into the collar. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy bottom cover, and canopy over the down rod. Reinstall the hanger ball, being sure to attach the ground lead, insert the cross pin, and tighten the set screw against the side of the down rod. If you purchased a longer down rod to install on the fan, you can use the optional wire extenders to provide more length. The wire extenders are not required if using the down rod included with the fan. At the ceiling box, loosen the two screws. Bring the hanger bracket up to the box and slide it over the screws. Tighten the screw securely. Carefully bring the fan motor up to the ceiling and place the ball into the hanger bracket. Turn the fan to align the groove in the ball with a tab on the bracket. Bring the receiver up to the ceiling and slide it into the hanger bracket with the flat side facing up. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box, down rod, receiver, and hanger bracket together with a wire nut. Note that the ground wire from your ceiling box may be green or bare copper. Combine the white wire from the receiver with the neutral wire from the outlet box. Combine the black wire from the receiver with the hot wire from the outlet box. Connect the two pin wire connectors from the receiver and the fan together. Connect the three pin wire connectors from the receiver and the fan together. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. If you have any additional wires from your outlet box that will not be used for the installation, cap them off with a wire nut. Carefully press and tuck the wires into the outlet box space above the receiver or around the sides of the bracket. Lift the canopy and align the holes with the hanger bracket screws. Twist to hold in place. Tighten both hanger bracket screws securely. If there isn't enough clearance for your screwdriver, you can use a power bit to tighten the screws. Lift the canopy bottom cover and align the keyhole slots with the hanger bracket screws. Twist to lock into place. 
The ceiling mounting is complete and the fan blades can now be installed. Prepare a fan blade and a blade arm. Pick a side of the reversible blade to face downward and align the blade arm with the holes underneath. Partially insert three blade attachment screws, then tighten all screws securely. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. Bring the blade assembly up to the fan and align it over the bottom motor plate using the engraved line as a guide. Insert and securely tighten two blade arm screws underneath. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. With the fan blades attached, you can now install the light kit. Bring the LED light kit up to the fan and connect the two pin wire connectors. Locate the slots on the light kit. Locate the tabs on the motor's mounting ring. Align the light kit slots over the tabs and turn clockwise until snug. The assembly is complete and the remote is now ready for setup. On the remote, install the included batteries. Press the on-off button to begin using the fan. By default, the remote's dip switch is in the zero position and the fan is set to universal operation mode. It will accept commands from any remote in range. If you have multiple fans, they will all be able to work with the same remote. To have the fans paired to individual remotes instead, Follow these three steps to set the fans to paired operation mode. First, set the dip switches in the battery compartments of all remotes to the 1 position. Second, turn off power to the fan being paired for a few moments. Then restore power. Third, within 30 seconds, press the learn button in the battery compartment of the remote. The fan light will flash on and off to indicate the pairing was successful. Repeat the pairing process for any remaining fans. Once completed, all paired fans will only accept commands from the remotes they were paired with. If you are experiencing issues with the fan or want to set the fan to universal operation mode again, you can factory reset the fan's programming. First, set the dip switch to the zero position. Next, turn off power to the fan for a few moments, then restore power. Within 30 seconds, press the Learn button in the remote. The fan light will flash on and off to indicate it has been factory reset. This remote features an optional wall holder to convert it into a wall control. For drywall installation, mount the remote control holder using the included drywall anchors and screws. For installation over a rocker switch, remove the two screws holding the cover plate. Align the remote control holder over the holes, then insert and tighten the included replacement cover screws. For installation over a toggle switch, remove the two screws holding the cover plate. Align the remote control bracket over the holes, then insert and tighten the included replacement cover screws. Clip the remote control holder over the bracket. Insert and tighten the bracket screws. Note that the bracket screws are short and will not damage the cover underneath. With the remote properly set up, you can now operate the fan.
press the power all button to toggle both the fan and the light at the same time. Every time the fan starts up, the blades will move back and forth for a few moments as part of a self-calibration process that ensures a balanced and energy efficient operation. Press the fan on off button to toggle just the fan. Press the fan plus or minus buttons to increase or decrease the fan speed. Press the Comfort Breeze button to toggle Comfort Breeze Mode, a feature that produces a natural feeling breeze by alternating between lower and higher speeds. Press the Light button to toggle just the light on or off. Hold the dimmer plus or minus buttons to slowly increase or decrease the brightness of the light. Press the Correlated Color Temperature button to cycle through the light color temperature options. The light can be set to 3000K Soft White, 4000K Bright White, and 5000K Daylight. Press the Timer buttons to automatically turn the fan and light off after a certain amount of hours have passed. You can set the timer for 2 hours, 4 hours, or 8 hours. With the fan running, press and hold the forward or reverse button for 3 seconds to change the direction of the blade rotation. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise to push air downward and produce a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise to cycle warm air off the ceiling. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. For technical support and assistance with the fan, call the customer service number in your owner's manual.